So it's between Hislop and Dunlop really now and Steve Hislop is about to go into the lead. Or is he? Mike Barnes has other ideas. Wait till they get out on the back of the circuit though where they can really wind these machines up. You can see the four stroke pulling away on these little short sharp bursts. All that torque working for it but when the Grand Prix machines reach their fighting temperature. So does, and there goes his lot. Well, he wasn't waiting for it. His lot not waiting to get out on the back of the circuit and the fast stretches. He is short circuit racing around the streets of Macau and no mistake. And someone else in the pits and that's Simon Beck. Well, he's been having problems with the Ducati all through practice and qualifying. Uh, it's been shedding oil and it seems that he's very wisely decided to give it a miss if it's doing it again. And here are the two men battling for the lead as Robert Dunlop comes up to challenge Steve Hislop. Now, Robert Dunlop finished just a couple of seconds faster than Hislop in leg one. So all he's got to do is stay with his teammate and he will win on aggregate. Steve Hislop is the man on whom all the pressure rests because he has to get out in front of Robert Dunlop and he does that very firmly again. Through goes his lock and closes the door on Dunlop who has to lift to keep out of the way. And his lock gets his head down and starts to pull away. He's three and a half, four seconds clear of Robert Dunlop and that is a winning margin for Steve Hislop. And there he goes across the line Dunlop in the background, too far behind him to take the overall win. So it's Hislop who wins the Macau Motorcycle Grand Prix from Robert Dunlop. Mark Farmer coming up to third place. Good result for him on the Ducati. So the rostrum with a decidedly British flavour to it. These three men really putting the greats in Great Britain as Hislop and Dunlop take all the honours at the Macau Grand Prix. Well, the way that the first race was stopped, you know, with a mess up on times, um, I knew I needed to, to beat Robert by at least two seconds to, to clinch like an overall victory. So, uh, and like, he challenged me and he was pushing and pushing and he, he took the lead and I was following. But I knew I had to try and get gone, like get past him and get away. And I uh, put the pressure on for a few laps and it worked out nicely in the end. Good win for you and... It sounds funny to say it, but what an excellent second place. That was wonderful stuff to watch. Was it as much fun out there? Yeah, thank you. It was really good. Really good fun, uh, 500 bikes. Really good to ride, and it's quick down the straight, and I was having a few looks over at Steve, you know, and it was, it was good fun, actually. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Really good.